When most people hear the words biological research, they think of top secret experiments in far off laboratories. However, the P3 project is full of exciting and important research being done right in your own backyard. P3 uses plants to make pharmaceuticals naturally instead of in a synthetic manner. Part of that research involves bioinformatics, an integral part of modern research science that combines bioresearch and computer science. Dr. Robin Buell is a leader in this field. Well, I always tell people that, that they're able to do research at the cutting edge of one technology and merge it with something that they really love and know well and be able to ask and answer biological questions that most other people can't answer yet. Protein modeling in a wet lab, you may take three months to make a new protein and find out at the end of that that it's no longer functional when you get it. We can model it in a matter of minutes and show on the computer that it was never going to work to begin with. First of all, we're looking at natural genetic variation and people assume that we're trying to do genetic engineering, which is obviously a hot, controversial topic, so we're not doing that. And second of all, they think because we have these large data sets and we now have so much knowledge that we can immediately affect agriculture tomorrow, and we just can't. Bioinformatics currently allows researchers to examine problems dealing not only with plants, but humans as well. Each ray on the graph here is indicating what gene affects one another. For example, this sphere directly affects this sphere, which affects this sphere. The idea is somewhere in this graph we will find patient or gene zero and we'll be able to create a pharmaceutical drug to silence that gene from ever taking effect and the patient will never develop rheumatoid arthritis. So just what kinds of people are working in the bioinformatics field? Well, they're a very unique breed. There's very few people out there that know biology and also know computer science and can merge the two disciplines together. We're actually classically trained in the computer science, but all of us here in the lab have to be trained as a biologist as well. You're probably wondering what the end result of all this research will be. Well, lucky for you, Dr. Buell has that covered. And in the next two or three decades, the world's population will increase by a billion. We don't, right now, even if we grew on every piece of land we knew, we can't feed that population. So there really needs to be research that will allow us in 40 years to produce the same amount of agriculture on less land with less pesticides. And it's this kind of research that will sort of change uh, the future. The work being done at P3 is important, not only for biological researchers, but may eventually impact us all. Bioinformatics is a vital part of that work allowing for quicker, more streamlined research and hopefully better results. You can find more information on the P3 project, its researchers, and bioinformatics at plantpoweredproduction.com.